okay so all right guys uh, i have got this question uh, from one of my students and he has asked that uh, how will you account the manifestation of upper motor and lower motor neuron paralysis of the facial nerve like he is confused that uh, how uh, like uh, what will happen to the upper motor neuron lesion and the lower motor neuron lesion of the facial nerve right so the answer here is basically in the next slide here what you can see is uh, uh, you have two things to be noticed here one is the upper motor neuron all right and one is the lower motor neuron so the question here is like uh, why in the paralysis of the lower motor neuron uh, both the sides like the upper half and the lower half of the face is affected and why the upper motor neuron means the question was like uh, why is this occurring so i'll just show you that whenever there is a lesion in the lower motor neuron suppose the lesion is here in the lower motor neuron these both the nerve supplies uh, like uh, those uh, fibers which are coming from the contralateral uh, primary motor cortex and from the ipsilateral primary motor cortex these both fibers will be affected and these are basically like supplying to the upper half and the lower half fine so both the upper half and the lower half of the face will be affected whenever there is uh, like a lesion here on the lower motor neuron and if suppose the lesion is here on the upper motor neuron then what will happen suppose the lesion is here okay i'll mark this suppose the lesion is here so what will this do if we if i trace this uh, like suppose i am tracing this uh, uh, neuron okay i am tracing this from the contralateral side this red color has basically innervated to the upper half okay and this blue color has basically innervated to the lower half but what what is happening here is that he is having uh, this uh, like uh, the ipsilateral primary motor cortex this has basically also innervated in the upper half so what will happen that if suppose there is a upper uh, like upper motor neuron uh, the lesion is in the upper motor neuron okay uh, the this fellow is basically getting the uh, ipsilateral primary motor cortex in the upper half so his upper half will be basically spared so this is the upper motor neuron lesion okay the upper half is basically spared but the lower half of the face is basically affected in the upper motor neuron lesion okay and in the lower motor neuron lesion the both the sides will be uh, like um, both the halves will be aff uh, affected the upper motor neuron uh, the upper uh, uh, half and uh, as well as the lower half okay so i hope that i have uh, answered this question and if you see this the previous slide uh, the same thing is uh, written in your practical manual Okay guys thank you so much